Hey, welcome to Bill Fabertini Sports Medicine. Today I'm going to talk about rotation back extensor strain control. A lot of injuries occur due to a lack of rotation and weakness in the back extensors. We see this all the time in sports where there's high speed twisting, particularly if we get thrown forward and there's a twist. That don't twist, bend type of injury that occurs in bumps, wherever it is. So we really want to emphasize strengthening our back extensors with a rotational element. Two ways to do that is the bend over row. The key when you do this is not to let the back round and twist. Keep it straight, control that back position. You can see by adding the one arm row here, I have a rotational element I have to control. Now, if you can't do this right away, well, just use two fingers to keep you in that back extension position. This strengthens your back sensors in the flex position. Now, a nice combination for that is to strengthen it in the full extension position. And I like to use the rip trainer for this because I come up over the right shoulder. Now, most of the force is with my back in full extension. My hips are all the way up, and the force lessens as I drop down, emphasizing a good neutral spine. Taking it up again, now the resistance is in the full hip extension position. Versus here, there's no resistance in upright. The resistance is when I'm down here. So combining one arm rows in a flexed posture of the hips, neutral spine, the flexed hips, and a full extension posture of the hips will strengthen me through that full dimension. 